that only took forever. Hi, my name is Nick Underwood. I graduated from West Virginia University in 2014 with my bachelor's in aerospace engineering, and we're going to do something fun today. You might remember me from a few months ago when I was up in Alaska flying around in an airplane. Well, today we're going to do the same thing, except it's in the Caribbean and it's a Category 5 hurricane. This is going to be a long story with a lot of information, and I'm going to go on a flight for about 8 hours at 3 a.m., and so a lot of stuff isn't going to get posted until tomorrow morning. So I work for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Aircraft Operations Center. You might know us better as the Hurricane Hunters. So in this story, we are going to go on NOAA's WP-3D Orion, and we are going to fly into Hurricane Irma. The data we collect on these flights gets relayed to the National Hurricane Center, which they then use to update their models for the hurricane's track and intensity. It's going to be a lot like Tolkien's Lord of the Rings, where things start off quite nicely, except there's this threat of a large thing in the east with a giant eye. Then it really pops off, and then it pops off some more, but there's some reflection at the end. If you have any questions during this, please send them my way. I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. As far as the flight, I'll show you as much as I can, but I do have work to do. And I'll try to explain it, but the, the mission comes first. Let's get to it. Also, be kind, be brave. So there's already some madness. These are drop sons, uh, and this sensor up here has to have impurities removed from it, and the only software to do it is not on the airplane, it's right here. Ugh. It's my responsibility to fix this. Also, removing impurities takes three minutes per sond, and we need 20 sons. We take off in like, uh, I don't know. So these guys have a parachute in the bottom. There's a GPS receiver and transmitter uh, somewhere in here. Up here is a sensor that gets wind, temp wind temperature, uh, pressure and humidity data, and we shoot these suckers out of the airplane, and when they fall down through the storm, send every bit of data they collect back to us, it goes on to the National Hurricane Center. We're deploying a lot of these tonight, somewhere around 20. We're also deploying AXBTs, which are uh, instruments that activate once they hit the ocean and collect ocean temperature data. I don't have one to show you right now, I'm sorry. I'm just standing here burning impurities off these suns. So I'm just going to take it here to do my first plug. Uh, screenshot the next one if you want to follow me on stuff. This is the tenth one I've burned, but I need to get out to the plane for the plane side brief, so it's going to be the last one I've burned. <sighs> this is the flight suit, by the way. I think I look pretty good. More sound issues. So we're back to on this. We're delaying our takeoff. Also, in my hurry to get off the plane last time, I said, pardon me, fellas, to some guy and my representative, Dennis Ross. So, sorry, Dennis.
I'm at home with my Star Wars posters and my board games, and I am at peace. I know it may not have looked like a ton, but so much happens on those flights, and uh, we did 21 drops of Sans and BTs, and that's so much work. I tried to sew as much as I could, but I didn't want to jeopardize the mission by having my phone out when I should have been working on stuff, and I'm sorry. But hopefully you thought it was cool, and hopefully you learned something, and that was the goal of all of this. Irma is very big and very scary, much like the Balrog. God, I love Tolkien. Anyway, the data we collected was very important today, and I was happy to play a part of it. I love my job, and obviously it's very cool, and I couldn't have been here without the education I received at West Virginia University. Again, if you liked what you saw today, you can follow me on stuff here. Uh, and outside of that, I'm, I'm going to sleep forever. Just kidding, until tonight when I have to go on another flight. I'll probably still be on the Snapchat for most of the day uh, outside of sleeping. So if you do have questions, go ahead and send them along. But this is the end. Thanks for watching. One last thing, if you're looking for good information about anything hurricanes, you can swipe up for a good link.